Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January favourites. I've got some skincare, a book recommendation, some foodie type bits, something fashion-y and some TV recommendations of things that I'm watching and loving right now. I don't know about you, but I'm very happy to say goodbye to January for another year. It's not my favourite month. The holidays are over, there's not much to look forward to and it's just very, very cold and wintry and I feel like February is a slightly shorter month and then we, once we get past that then I feel like spring is on the way and that's brilliant, quite frankly. It's freezing cold here in Germany and I'm really looking forward to some warmer weather. I'm going to get started with skincare. So I've got these two new products from This Works. They actually have the mask that goes with it, but that's not new. So they're basically, it's an evening detox range, and I've got the cleansing water and the spray-on exfoliant. Now, the cleansing water is really nice. They, they don't say whether it's something that can take off makeup and SPF or not. I don't think it is, but I love this. It's I'm not sure what a micellar water is like because I've never actually used one before, but it's like really liquidy, comes out in the pump, you can apply it with a cotton pad, but I just personally just apply it to my hands. The reason why I love this is because it feels so lovely and fresh. I'm funny when it comes to fragrance in products. This just smells fresh and lovely in the nicest possible way. Um, fresh without being minty, fresh in a slightly cucumbery floral type way love it so i'm using this as my second cleanse in the evening but what i really like it for even though it's they say it's for the evening i actually really like to use it in the morning because it's so light so i just literally just use it to freshen up my face um take off any kind of grease or residue from the products of the night before and just kind of give my skin a quick freshen up before i go in with my skincare in the morning and i'm really really loving it it just feels so lovely and clean it's whilst it's like water it does have leave a slight kind of hydrating residue on the skin, nothing too oily or greasy, but it's just lovely. Then we've got the spray on exfoliant. Now this is not normally something I'd use. I've gone on and on about acids in my last video, which was the uh, Sunday Riley Good Jeans with Glycolic Acid, which I'll link up above. Um, so I'm not gonna go too much on about acids because I feel like I've spoken a lot about them recently, but this is salicylic acid, which Normally I don't use that much, but this is really good because um, when I wet shave, sometimes I get like little pimples around my mouth um, from shaving or on my jaw. So I just um, use this around the areas where I've been shaving, not all the time, but just sometimes, and it just helps keep that part of my face clear um, and prevent any breakouts. And I like it because it's really nice and gentle. I'm gonna give a shout out to the Drunk Elephant, A. Passioni retinol cream. I'm still using this. I've been alternating between this and the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I've been doing two weeks of this, two weeks of the Good Jeans, and so forth. Um, this is too strong to be able to use any type of acid in combination with it because I think my face would just explode. I love this. This is so brilliant. I love the way that it makes my face look it makes my it, it completely changes the texture of my skin it's almost like a bit rubbery my skin which i know sounds really odd but it's good it's i don't know my skin's just really smooth and brilliant love it it's very strong be careful i did a proper review on this which i'll also link up above but it is a brilliant powerful retinol that you can always water down by mixing it with other products. I personally don't. I just apply it on its own. Use a bit of eye cream first, then apply it uh, to my face on its own. And I don't even need to go on with any moisturizer on top, even though I'm just using a little bit more than a pea-sized amount. I highly recommend this retinol. It's probably the best one I've ever used, and I'm loving it. The last one I'm going to talk about isn't so much skincare, but it's in that realm. It's the Jo Malone Basil and Neroli Body and Hand Wash. I've been having a lot of baths lately just because 
I'm in that kind of zone where I just want a nice comforting hot bath, especially when it's so cold outside. And I just pour a little bit of this in the water under the tap just to um, create some bubbles. And it smells so lovely and fresh and luxurious. Sometimes my body can be a little bit uh, sensitive when it comes to synthetically fragranced uh, body products. Um, this hasn't caused me any problems, which I'm really surprised and amazed about. Um, so that's really good. It's not something that I would personally use as a shower gel every day because I just don't use a fragranced shower gel every day. I think it would irritate my skin. But in the bath to create a nice kind of smelling kind of bath-like experience and some bubbles, I'm absolutely loving it, lovely and fresh and kind of gender neutral. It's something that I think that men and women would both enjoy. The next one I'm going to show you is some new sunglasses that I purchased um, just after Christmas. The brand is called Chimmy. I think it's from Sweden and I absolutely love these glasses. I think they're really, really cool. I'm going to put them on. They're just, they're not completely black. These have got like, uh, they do a black pair, but I just thought that that would be a little bit too harsh on me. So these have got like a, they're like a gray transparent frame, but they come in all different colors. They come in pink with like reflective, like mirrored pink lenses. They come in blue, they come in green, all sorts of colors, um, orange. I love them so much. And I think that they're really cool. And what I love, even more about them is I think that they're a really reasonable price. They're made in Italy, the quality is really good, and they cost, I don't know if it's 85 pounds or 85 euros, I think it's 85 pounds, but I just bought them directly from the website. Um, there are some places that sell them, but I wasn't able to find them in this particular colour, and I am loving them, really, really cool. And I love the, um, the box that they come in, they come in this white box and they've got like this cute little um, like lens cleaner and then this also this little pouch that you can put them in that's a bit less bulky if you are on the go. The next one is a book recommendation. This is called Fools and Mortals by Bernard Cornwell. It's a historical fictional novel about, it's set in London and it's about Richard Shakespeare, who is William was William Shakespeare's brother. I don't know if that's a true story or not, but basically he is an actor in the plays that his brother William writes. I'm only about halfway through it, but I love it. I love the fact that it's, I love kind of old world London. I think it's so interesting. And I think that if you go to like London Bridge and around that area, like Borough Market, it feels very old world around there. And um, when you read this, I don't know, I just can imagine what it's like back then. And it's really interesting. And it's a nice story, quite interesting. And I think it's going to have some twists and turns as it unfolds. But I'm really, really enjoying that. I actually got it in um, Harrods, which is so funny because I think that Harrods is one of the, a book is one of the few things that you can get in Harrods that is the same price as everywhere else. I know that Harrods generally sell things that you wouldn't necessarily find or buy everywhere else. But yeah, you can get a book for the same price in Harrods that you can in any other bookstore in the country. So it's nice just to pop into Harrods to stock up on books. So for TV, I've got a couple of Netflix recommendations. The first one is You. It's got the guy called Dan Humphreys in, he was in Gossip Girl, that was the character, I'm not sure what his name is in real life. It's got Shay Mitchell who played uh, Emily in Pretty Little Liars. It's really good, it's so creepy. The Dan Humphreys, what his, his name is, I can't remember what his, the character's name is. He's so creepy, it's a bit of a, I don't know, a thriller. It's good, it's beautiful, it's set in New York. The lighting and the cinematography is really nice. Um, everyone's really good at their parts in it. Um, it's not like super scary, but it is a bit, oh gosh, it's, it's really, really creepy. I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Check it out. Netflix will give you a um, 
you know, like an intro of what it's about and show you some clips from it anyway, as you will know if you've got a Netflix account. Um, so yeah, loving that, even though it is, it makes my skin crawl by how creepy it is. Then we've got, uh, what else? Oh, Sex Education, which I've just started watching. That's got, um, I think her name's Gillian Anderson. She played Scully in The X-Files a million years ago. Um, and it's basically like a teen uh, TV show set in like uh, high school in the UK. And I love it because like for nostalgic reasons, just the way that it's shot. I love that it's like in the countryside um, at a school, like these teenagers, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like where I went to school and um, there's lots of sex in it as you might gather by the name and um, but it's funny it's yeah you've got like a whole it's kind of like going to school and you've got like all these different characters that you go to school with and all these different personalities and how people express themselves in different ways and it's it's quite funny I really like it so that's my other one and that is also on Netflix if you haven't got Netflix, I'm really sorry. Okay, now I'm moving on to some food bits. Okay, so I have got these PG Tips tea bags that work with non, um, like dairy alternative milk. So basically I, if you're in, a, if you're in the US, um, just to kind of let you know, like in the UK, we love kind of like English breakfast, like black tea, with milk in it like that's the traditional way to have it we normally have like just like a breakfast tea type thing or sometimes oh gray um, but pg tips is like english breakfast tea and when you go from cow's milk to like a non-dairy milk i've been using oat milk which i'll talk about in a second it doesn't always mix well with the dairy-free milk and it's a bit watery and the taste isn't so good. So um, when I was in London last month, I saw this in the supermarket and I saw that it's perfect with dairy-free milk. Decided to pick it up and see what it was about. And it's nice, it's really strong, so the tea still has that nice golden colour, whereas with the other ones, like the regular tea, it was just a bit watery and not so flavorful and rich as it usually would be with cow's milk. This is really, really good. And then with that, I'm mixing it with the uh, oat, oatly oat milk. Now, the only reason I'm talking about this is because they've got a barista edition. I got this from the supermarket in Germany. I know that you can get it in the UK as well. I'm not sure which other countries, but the reason why this is good, because this is the barista edition. And again, like, regular oat milk or rice milk, that kind of thing, it it separates a little bit. Um, the bits, when you add it with tea, and it's not that nice, whereas this is a bit creamier and richer, so it's nice with coffee and it's also nice with tea. So these two mixed together are really good if you are looking to uh, have like a dairy alternative to, sorry, a dairy-free alternative to regular milk. I'm not cutting out dairy completely from my diet, I'm just having less of it, but I still um, have everything really. I eat a lot less meat than I used to. I used to eat a lot of red meat several years ago, and then I've cut that down significantly, and I only have red meat probably once every two weeks. I still eat a bit of fish, a bit of chicken, but I do have a lot more kind of pulses and grains and that kind of thing, more vegetables in my diet, but I haven't cut anything out completely. I'm just trying to be a little bit more conscious about the amount of things that I'm eating. The last one that I forgot to mention, I haven't got it here because it's all gone. I will try and insert a picture. If not, I'll find it and put a link to it downstairs. It's um, a type of chocolate that you can get here in Germany and that you can get it in the UK as well. It's called Lindt and they, it's a dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. They do one with pieces of pomegranate in it. It's absolutely delicious. It's probably too delicious. I can normally only eat a couple of squares of dark chocolate. I usually go for 70 or 80%. A couple of pieces is enough for me because it's so intense. With the pomegranate pieces in it, I can eat the whole bar, no problem, which is far too much. So it's dangerous, but so, so, so good. So if you see it in your um, supermarket, check it out. Um, I don't normally like 
dried fruit at all, but in this with the chocolate, oh my gosh, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, so the last, last, last one that I wanted to show you was this mug that I've got. It's so cute. I love it. Um, I'm drinking my tea in it now. It's, I picked it up at the airport from John Lewis, and I don't know if they have them in the regular stores. I know that they sell more touristy things in the airport, but this is so cute. It's got like little London buses in on and taxis and policemen. It's, it's really sweet. I am from the UK, obviously, and I live in Germany. So I like these little things like my tea and little things like this to remind me of home when I'm not at home. I do go back every month, but yeah, when I'm here, it's nice to have these little British things. So I'm really enjoying that. It's China. Um, and if I can find it, I will link it down below. So that's it for my January favourites. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.